My name is Emmanuel Letouze. Um, so I'll be presenting um, this project called OPAL for Open Algorithms. Uh, so first, I want to thank the, the hosts and also the staff uh, who've been working on this, uh, this very impressive event. So here you see the founders of the uh, Open Algorithms project, which I think is uh, like a groundbreaking project. So it's, we're about a decade into the data revolution. There have been lots of discussions about the risks and the rewards and the pitfalls and the opportunities. Uh, and I think we are this critical junction where people are wondering, okay, what exactly do we do looking 10 years ahead uh, towards the, the sustainable development goals and the 2030 uh, like deadline. So, um, well, history did not start yesterday. So we have also like a lessons from history about power dynamics, about concentration of power. So what we want to do is to build like open systems, so open algorithms and open government systems to leverage private sector data for social good and to do so ethically and uh, at scale. So it's really one of the conundrums of the data revolution, which is how do you, do you, how do we leverage the very sensitive personal data that companies collect and control for public good purposes without exposing the data, with, without uh, causing like risks to people's privacy uh, and sometimes security. So we think that the answer, our approach, is OPAL, so for the Open Algorithms uh, project. So there is a technology component and a governance component. And what we're doing is really, we're not talking, we're not writing, we're doing things. We are setting up, we are developing, deploying next generation data systems for sustainable development. So, and I'll tell you in a second where we were, we're doing this, but this is how it works. So if you wanna know, have a sense of population density or poverty or mobility in almost real time at fine levels of granularity, um, you can just ask these questions through open algorithms to private sector data, so data partners, and the system only extracts the indicators that you've specified through these open algorithms. There is also an open governance uh, system around it, and the algorithms are open, they're certified, so they're auditable, um, and they can be looked at uh, by like local communities and be used by, for instance, the national statistical offices for better uh, policies. And so I was saying we're doing it, so we have set up this, uh, so this system in two countries, on two different continents, two very different countries, one in Senegal with Orange Sonatel as the data partner, and the other in Colombia with uh, Telefonica as the data partner and their national uh, statistical offices. So we went through the hoops and the pains of signing the legal agreements, of setting up the aligning the incentives and actually showing that it can be done and how it can be done end to end with uh, funding mostly from the French Development Agency. Next, we um, want to move into a sort of like industrialization phase. We think that the system can actually scale, expand to other countries and geographies like cities, expand to other industries. Think about if or when the system is actually used, deployed, uh, applied in other industries like banking, like public health, like uh, even police data, like finance, and you can actually mine those very rich data sets in a safe, ethical, and scalable way. So that's what uh, Opal does, and according to McKinsey Global Institute, if successful, and I think it will be successful, then it can be scaled and it can help unlock the value of this private data in a safe, ethical, and scalable manner. And last, uh, it's not a techno-utopian uh, project, um, it's a very like real world. We're looking at the political economy. Uh, we're working directly in those countries. We know that the, the key to this is to build capacities and connections locally for the system to be used, uh, for people to be interested, to be aware. So we are building literacy for the data generation or data literacy for people to be able to use that uh, in like right now and for the next uh, 10 years. So thank you very much. I will be there uh, after the panel and I'm just at five minutes exactly. Thank you.